Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do every Tuesday. I don't know if I've actually ever told anyone this, but one of the big reasons that I believe in God is because of timing. Whenever I look for news stories, I'm never really looking for any specific theme. I am just finding things that I find interesting. But today, I found that everything we're talking about has to do with prayer and action. And if it isn't weird enough that all of those kind of lined up, I'd put this shirt on before getting those stories. So apparently I'm supposed to talk about prayer today. The first story is kind of a feel good one and that is the America's Tent of Meeting happened this last week. It's an event that happens in Washington DC and it brings together 30,000 people to pray for a shift in America. And that's definitely something we need, a shift in America right now. And regardless of your thoughts on prayer, bringing 30,000 people together uh, in hopes to change America, uh, for there to be less hate in this world is a good thing. And our next story is a study done on how people make decisions. Where do they go to before making an important decision? And I love the headline to this because it's more people pray than going to social media for these kind of decisions, which according to the study is true. Uh, by 2%, because only 4% of people said they would go to social media for these kind of choices. In other words, only 6% of people pray before making important decisions. And if you're one of the higher numbers, 77% of people say they go to their friends or families for important stuff, which I think is a really stupid idea. Like my mom and dad, I love them very much, but I don't often go to them for relationship advice because uh, they are divorced. I also don't know a lot of rich people, so maybe I need to work on that as well. Also, 51% of people said they go to search engines to make important choices, which totally makes sense to me because I have literally Googled, where should I eat tonight? And this one saddens me the most. Only 2% of people said that they go to a religious figure for advice. And I think maybe we need to do a little more of that. Also for the math nerds out there that are like, hey, how do you get 77% and then a 51%, they get multiple choices. I started listing off these numbers and I was like, wait a minute. I am very happy to see that more people go to prayer than Facebook, but 6% is pretty low. As a Christian, I believe it's very important to pray about issues and see what solutions there are to them. But maybe that's just because I love prayer. I think it's one of the most powerful things we have. I think many atheists would even agree that at least hearing that someone is praying for them, whether they believe it's going to work or not, is at the very least comforting. But as much as I love prayer, we're going to turn this conversation around a little bit because there is a video game that has come out that is going viral. It's a game you can find on your browser. Calling it a video game is a bit relative. And you can find it at thoughtsandprayersthegame.com. In the video game, you get two choices, think and pray. There's a picture of the United States map and shootings light up the map of how many dead. Your choices are to either think or pray and you can hit them as many times as you want. At the end of the game, you have a score. There's the number of times you thought and prayed and then the number of lives you saved and the number of lives you saved stays at zero. And at first, I think like many, I found it a bit offensive. It makes you feel a bit made fun of, especially after the recent Vegas shooting uh, where I and many others have posted that our prayers are with the people affected. I played that game twice and I saw the number both times, zero lives saved. I can find that just because I'm a little bit offended doesn't mean that I'm right. Like I said before, I think that prayer is one of the most important things Christians can do. And I don't believe in a works-based faith, meaning that you are saved by the things that you do. But I do believe that a faith without works goes nowhere. A prayer without action goes nowhere. And so I already admitted it, I'm just as bad as anyone else. But Christians, if we want to see a shift in this world, a positive, a loving movement, we need to move. During the Vegas shooting, I also read stories of all of the people who saved lives by either just protecting strangers in the middle of the shooting or giving blood or being a shelter for those who needed it. And I don't think the right thing to do is go help these people and then Facebook that and be like, see, it's not just thoughts and prayers for me. But I, well, pray that the church can be the people that are out there helping the people in need. That when we say our thoughts and prayers are with people, that our hands are there also. It's a dark world and as Christians, we need to be a light. And changing your Facebook profile picture uh, isn't enough. There isn't gonna be a question of the day today. Uh, for those of you who are new, there usually is. But this is the news Christian news show we do in a not so boring kind of way every Tuesday at youtube.com slash Cody Armor. Uh, we hope to see you next week. I love you guys. God bless.